So this is the time of year where we bring out all the special recipes. You know, it's Christmas time and we entertain family and friends. Today we will be making a festive potato salad using fresh harvest peas and carrots. When I was growing up, my mom, for the Christmas season, she would always make potato salad. But I found it to be a little boring. You're making the same potato salad you're making throughout the year for Christmas because they put in ham on the side and all the frills. It doesn't make it any better. Sorry mom, rest in peace. Throughout the years I've been tasting different potato salads and today I'm going to incorporate all of my favorites into one. Try it and if you don't like it, you could blaze me in the comments, right? So we have two sets of potatoes. We have sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. We have eggs, cheese, cranberries, parsley, celery, mayonnaise, mustard, some sweet peppers, and we have fresh harvest peas and carrots. Of course, you're going to add salt and black pepper to taste, and that will be your festive potato salad. So I had boiled my eggs and then I chopped them up into small cubes, bite-sized cubes. I also boiled my potatoes in salt and sugar until fork tender. So here we have our fresh harvest peas and carrots and guess what I found the can opener too many of you have been saying we've been butchering the cans opening it with a knife but that is your Trini home classic yeah whatever you can find open the can but you know make sure and get fresh harvest peas and carrots all right Right, so when you open your peas and carrots, of course you're going to drain this liquid, but you can see how nice and bright the carrots look. For everything in this recipe is just to add into your mixing bowl and toss. Taste for salt and sugar and soup. Christmas time is a very nice time to play with your colors when it comes to your food because it helps with presentation and you know you eat with your eyes first, right? So look how lovely the fresh harvest peas and carrots looks. You know very bright and nice and we're going to toss in all the other ingredients right this is your regular cheddar in any, any supermarket nothing special right you don't have to add all everything here is based on your liking so there's no set ingredients what you feel is enough you put that i mean that could be good you know but a little more never hurt nobody right we want it nice and hearty Right, so cheese in, you have your boiled eggs. Your chopped cranberries, fresh parsley and celery. Your chopped bell peppers. Now, if you find that the green isn't too prominent in your potato salad you can use green bell peppers as well and your mayo the medium sized container that you would get in a supermarket um, you could use less or you could use more depending on how creamy you want your potato salad to be right so we're adding in all of it because we like it nice and creamy some mustard you don't want honey mustard here because you have a slight sweetness and tartness from the cranberries so if you add honey mustard it would add a little sweetness but remember that you boil your potatoes with salt and sugar so it helps along with the flavor right so time to toss We'll toss first and then we'll taste with salt and black pepper if needed. And if you like, you could also add a little bit of pepper sauce. So we don't want to mash up your potatoes. We want it to remain bite-sized so you're folding. You're going under and over. And just make sure everything is coated well with the minus, the mustard, etc. So you see how the colors are looking nice and vibrant inside of there. We just have to 
make sure it's mixed well and the reason why you wait for the end of the mixing to see if it needs any salt or black pepper because your cheese will add a salt element to it and you already boiled with salt and sugar Right, so you know the, it's nice and incorporated and you know the old school way is to take some in your hand and taste, right? Definitely nice and creamy, you have your bite-sized pieces of vegetables in there. I feel like it needs just a little more salt and I'll add some black pepper for a little juice. Right, so it's a little black pepper, just, just to coat the top, it will incorporate throughout and a little salt don't torture yourself sometimes I hear that you know sometimes you, you pick up something you ever send your husband in your grocery and he pick up a salt grinder yeah. and it's not really effective hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this is my predicament here with this right but you could add maybe a teaspoon of salt you can see it, the grinder not good Alright, so we fold in again and then over. And when you look closely, you're seeing absolutely everything in there the sweet potatoes, the eggs, the cheese, the cranberries. It looks really nice and festive. And you know, this time of year, you're bringing out your fancy ways to plate everything. So we taste in again. I'm gonna make sure I get a little of everything i want some sweet potato right mm -hmm. of course your fresh harvest peas and carrots is the perfect addition the perfect ingredient so guys if you enjoy this festive potato salad recipe do try it let me know what you think Fresh Harvest Festive Potato Salad.